Hey, it's time for a What Sold video. So that's what we're in for today. Let's roll the intro. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here on the balcony, my favorite place, um, with a What Sold video for January 1st through the 15th. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and sometimes whatnot. Um, and today I am doing a What Sold video. I um, try to I show you guys what is selling and for how much in hopefully a very recent time period. So I usually do two weeks at a time. So right now I'm doing first through the 15th, the first half of June. And the three categories I will bring you are sold for $25 or more. That is not counting if the buyer paid shipping or not. Base price, 25 or more. I will do some honorable mentions. Today's honorable mentions are things that are between $20 and $24. And I will do what I call fast lane sales. Fast lane sales are sales um, of items that sold in 30 days or less of me listing them. So um, I, always, I always like quick flips. Um, if you are new to reselling, I think that what sold videos are good things to watch because you can get ideas of what you can be purchasing to resell. Um, I also think that it's especially good if you're in the same region because a lot of times I think like what I find in thrift stores in my area in Virginia is not the same as what somebody in Ohio is finding in their thrift stores or what somebody in Oregon is finding in their thrift stores. It's not always the same. So um, you get an idea of what things can be found. So let's get started with our what solds. All right, first thing that I want to showcase is this Kato dress. Now normally Kato, not, not a brand that people would recommend picking up, but this dress had a lot going for it. Um, let's see, I want to see what I paid for it so that I can give you guys accurate info. Okay, I paid a dollar for this Kato dress. Okay, paid a dollar for it. But it, um, normally I wouldn't recommend picking up Kato. It was plus size, all right? So that was a good thing. Well, not plus size, it was only an extra large, but it was all crochet and it was like this white to almost like an eggshell white color, not a, not a complete cream color, but it had the whole crochet top and a very gauzy skirt. It was very bohemian, um, very beach wedding-ish. So um, I, let's, let's talk about my title on that one. Ooh, I'm all over the place this morning. Kato Cream Women's Crochet Maxi Dress Size Extra Large Boho Hippie Beach Wedding. That was my title. Um, and it sold at my full asking price of $25 on Poshmark. Okay, next. This to me, one, one time find I, um, I remember finding this bag and thinking, this feels like something. It is Valenka of Holland, and it was a woven leather sling bag or fanny pack. The great thing about it was it fit around my waist, and I'm a clean size 20, okay? I'm a plus size girl, and it fit around my waist, but it would also fit around a smaller waist because that strap was adjustable down to 19 inches. So it's really, really versatile. Um, I purchased it at a thrift store for $5 and it sold for 50. I think I had it priced at 
60 or 64, something like that. And someone came in and offered me 50 and I took it. I took it. No, I'm sorry. It sold for my full asking price on Poshmark. I paid $4 for it. It sold on Poshmark for a full $50. Um, so if I ever see Valenka again, totally would pick it up. All right. Next thing to sell is this Patagonia backpack, like a sling bag. Let me um, get to that. I think that was on this other page. If you will bear with me, I have to flip between two different pages of sales. Yes. I originally had this, it was called the 8L, I'm assuming leader, I don't know, Adam, A-T-O-M, Adam Sling Day Pack, green and neon green hiking, green and neon green hiking. What a crazy title. Anyway, I had it listed for 50. Um, someone within 24 hours came in and offered me 43 and I took it. Um, I. I paid $8 for it. So I, you know, six, no, not quite six, a little over five times my money in, um, in less, less than 24 hours. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Okay. Next thing to sell for over 25 is this dress by Boohoo. Boohoo is not a brand I recommend picking up. However, I got this dress. I'm going back to the page. That's why I'm looking at my laptop and not at the screen, not at my camera. All right, hold on, get to it. I think I got this dress in a, yeah, I got this dress in a either a thread up box or a Goodwill blue box, um, one or the other. And I believe it was new with tags and it was sequin, full on sequins. So, um, it sold on eBay for my, um, for $28. That was before the buyer paid shipping or anything like that. So $28, my cost of goods on that dress was $3. So I made $16.78 after all is said and done. Okay. Next thing to sell are these Giorgio Brutini shoes. Now, boots, honestly. Um, I, I don't know with this brand, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking comps because not everything by Giorgio Brutini um, does well. But these were, let me come down here and read the title, Giorgio Brutini Private Collection snake skin they were legitimate snake skin um men's boots so they were more of dress boots size seven and a half and I, then i put black shoes um so for seven and a half in men's is i guess considered small for a men's size shoe i mean these fit me so um i think that's considered small for a men's shoe but i took i took a chance and it paid off they, I bought them at the bins. I got them at the bins. So at my bins, shoes are priced by the pair. So they were $3.50. And I sold them for $29.90 on eBay. Okay. Um, next sale were these Aftco shorts. Aftco stands for American fishing and tackle company. I did it. And they were the Aftco Blue Water. Um, when I checked comps on these, I realized that the Aftco Blue Water shorts do better than other Aftco, Aftco brand shorts. These were the Aftco Blue Water six inch original fishing shorts, men's size 34, blue outdoor active. And they sold for $26 um, on eBay. I paid seven for them. <laughs> so I probably paid a little bit too much. So I was able to sell them for four times what I paid for them. I'm not sure that I would pay $7 for a pair of Aftco shorts again. But for some reason, that trip, 
that was the Salvation Army by my sister's house. That trip, my cost of goods was a little higher than normal. Um, but on the flip side, I've sold a lot, a lot from that trip. So there's something to be said for that. I might have to do an update on that specific trip because I have sold a lot um, from that one. Okay, next thing to sell were, I'm trying to get back to my arrow, were these on cloud. Um, sometimes people say on running cloud, but I've always just listed it as on cloud. Well, let me see if I can find them. There they are. On cloud shoes, men's size 14, blue running sneakers, speed laces, um, Swiss. Swiss? Swiss. Okay, I probably copied somebody else's title. Um, but they were a size 14 and they were in really good condition. I already received positive feedback that says nice job. So um, I was happy with that. But they sold on eBay for $50. I found them in the bins after all the, the shoe crew was there. We're what I call the shoe crew. They come in and they just scoop up especially athletic shoes. They just grab them all, put them in a cart, go over to a corner and sort through them on their own. I got there after they had done that and found these. So I was happy. Anyway, um, the they sold for $50. I paid $3.50 for them. So my total profit after everything was said and done was $35.24. Happy as I can be about that. All right, next thing to sell was this Ishakti dress. Let me see if I can get to it. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yes. So it was the Ishakti cotton striped flounce high-low dress, size 2X, 20W, pink, cream, green stripes. Um, and it sold on eBay for $31.01. Ishakti is a good brand to find because a lot it's um it's usually plus size. I don't know if it's always plus size, but every time I found it it has been. And a lot of times they are tailor made for women um like you can actually go on their site and get something tailor made. So they're usually a really good brand to find. You can usually guarantee that an Ishakti dress will go for 25 or higher. So which is good to know. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, you guys couldn't believe it. I am trying to remember where I found this guy. I put down that my cost of goods was a dollar. I'm almost positive I found him in the bins. This little yellow dragon had a wind up. He played Puff the Magic Dragon. And he was a little bit, a little bit dirty. He had a little bit of like stuff on his ears and on his things. But I noted that in the listing that there was some discoloration. I gave him a good wipe down with a baby wipe. I couldn't put him in the washer because he has a music box inside. But he sold on eBay. Yes, he sold on eBay for $60. And he's going to Canada. So international sales i don't think they are allowed to be returned i think i know canada is considered international because i had to send it to that special ebay location so um i paid a dollar for him and my profit off of that one was fifty dollars and 32 cents for a stuffed animal I knew though, I knew when I found him, if you heard the airplane, I'm sorry. Um, I live five minutes from the airport, or from Richmond International Airport. Anyway, I knew when I found him, I was like, oh, this guy's cool. You know, the fact that he plays Puff the Magic Dragon. So yeah, tickled pink. Every now and then I find a bolo stuffed animal and it's always fun when I do, when I do find them. All right, next I have these sandals, these were Jiwawa, which I believe is sold at an, at one time, I don't know if they still are, sold at Anthropology. They did sell on eBay, so what did I put? 
I did not put anthropology. I think because I looked at the current anthropology brands list and it, Jiwawa wasn't listed, so I didn't put it in there. So Jiwawa Brave, that was the name of the shoe, ankle strap sandal, size nine, black leather distressed. That was a really kind of a simple title, but they were cool looking. Um, and they sold on eBay for $30. All right, that takes care of sales that were over, $25 or over. Let's talk about, I'm trying to get my, it's really hard to see my laptop screen outside, but I'm telling you, this is my favorite place to be in the summer. My absolute favorite place to be. Um, let's talk about some sales. Um, I swear my brain works. I promise it does. Let's talk about three honorable mentions. Three honorable mentions. Honorable mention one are these Travis Matthew shorts. These are the Travis Matthew Beck. That was the Nate style name of the shorts. Men's size 36. Gray stretch performance quick dry. Um, I had them listed for 30 and I, I think I had them on, they sold on Mercari and they were probably on, you know, how on Mercari, you can set it, the price to go lower over time. I probably had them set to where they would go down to 25. I think once they hit 25, someone came in and offered me 21 and I accepted it. So fine with me. What did I pay for these? I think. Where did my arrow go? Oh my gosh, you guys. There it is. I paid $3.50 for these. So my total was $14.15 on these. But since they sold for over $20, but not quite $25, I put them in the honorable mentions. I think it is totally possible to sell some Travis Matthews for $30 for over $25. I was just willing to take I was willing to take, I had had them for a little over a month, a little over a month. And I was willing to take that, that money or, you know, that offer for like a relatively quick flip, a flip in under 90 days. All right. Next, um, honorable mention is this torrid bathing suit top. I remember, I think I remember getting this. I really did like it. If I were... I'm not comfortable in, the only two pieces I wear are tankinis. If I was more comfortable in a style like this, I would, I would have totally worn it. Um, all right, let's get to it though, so I can give accurate info. The Torrid Pink Mesh Bikini Swim Top in bright pink, size zero, large. That was gonna be a hard sell because most people that are buying Torrid are usually 2X and higher. You usually don't have people that wear a size large looking for items by Tori, but this was that great bright Barbie pink, so I had a feeling that it might sell well. Um, so it did sell on Mercari for $20. I paid three for it, so I profited $13.78 after all was said and done. And then the last honorable mention is this J. Crew necklace. This J. Crew necklace I've had, I think I got it in a thread up 15 piece box. Let me get to it. And I did take an offer on it. Because again, it is not in, I don't want, right now I'm overstocked. Um, I have too much way too much inventory so I am I'm taking taking offers not not really low offers but I'm taking offers um, I had it listed on eBay for um, for a list of kind of high at 35 um, more than likely someone put a watch out on it and I sent them an offer but they sent me back an offer for $22 and I took it um, my cost of goods was $5, so yeah, it probably came out of a thread up 15 piece box. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I made after fees and everything else, I made $14.56 on that. So that was it with the honorable mentions. 
Let's move on to the fast lane. What things for me sold in under 30 days? Um, those are the kind of flips that I like. They're not always high money, but I do, um, I do like when I can move something quickly. All right, so some of the items that I've already gone over with you guys were quick flips. And I'm gonna put that list right here so that you guys can see out of what I sold in, what sold in less than 30 days, how much of it was things that also sold for over $25. Those are the best kind, right? Okay. All right. So the first thing to sell in under 30 days, well, right at 30, right at 30, were these hoop earrings with um, interchangeable stone charms. So all the charms were like little hearts and they were, um, they were semi-precious stones. There was tiger's eye, there was rose quartz, there was regular quartz, um, you name it, it was in there. Um, and they sold, um, in, like I said, in 30 days. Now, I think I accepted an offer of $10. And I know that sounds crazy, but I had a dollar into them. I had a dollar. So if I can turn a dollar into 10 in under 30 days, happy, okay? Happy about that. All right, <clears throat> next thing to sell in six days. It took six days for these to sell are these Clarks. These Clark sandals. Um, let's see. They are the Clark's Anadel Irwin. It was, yeah, a crazy name. It looks very Irish. Um, black Nubuck women's wedge sandals, size seven wide, slingback. Whew. And they sold, I think, for eighteen, around eighteen dollars. I paid five for them. I probably paid too much for them. So, but they did sell in six days on an offer. I took it and, and went moving on. Sometimes I will accept offers um, in order to, to me, it like triggers the algorithm and then more things come in, more sales come in. So a lot of times I'll take offers based on that. Okay, what's next? Oh, this Built Polo. So Built, B-Y-L-T, another great brand to look for. Um, this Built Polo sold, it's another one. Um, what? Okay, that's not what I thought, but okay, hang tight. This Built Polo <laughs> sold in 13 days, 13 days, I think it sold for around $15. I think I got an offer of $15.50 for it or something like that. But like I said, it sold in 13 days. So happy about that. Okay, an Ann Taylor dress. Where'd it go? There it is. Ann Taylor loft. Um, this dress, size 14, forest green, lightweight, corduroy, ruffle, shift. And, let's see. It sold in 19 days of listing it. Unusual for Ann Taylor. Unusual. So, um, I think what happened was I got an offer for 15. I had it priced at $17.90. Somebody came in and offered me 15 and I took it and ran. Ann Taylor, not a great brand to pick up. I paid a dollar for it at the bins. Um, sometimes I'll pick it up and try to, you know, send it to thread up because they love Ann Taylor. So, um, but in this case, I'm, and I might've been thinking of putting it in a whatnot show. But like I said, in this case, I decided to list it and it, and it flipped. So in less than 30 days happy about that all right next is this women's faux ostrich stretch belt plus size 2x gold tone hardware um wide i don't know what else i put on there but 
it sold in 12 days. I remember I got this at a yard sale for $2. And like I said, it sold in 12 days for I think my full asking price of $15. So I'm happy about that. Happy and, and I've already received positive feedback on it. And she's very, very happy with her belt. So tickled pink. Yes, sold for $14.90. All right. Um, this jelly cat. Let's put him up there. I am um, I don't know why it took me so long to list this jelly cat. All right, so this was obviously a panda bear. Jelly cat, medium, bashful, black, white, panda bear, cub, stuffed animal, plush, 12 inches. And he sold in 23 days um, on Poshmark for $15. I think I had him listed at 18. Somebody came in and offered me 15 and I took it. So um, I paid a dollar for him at the bins and my profit on him was $11. All right. And let's see after, oh, this Adidas shirt. Let's see, let me get to it. Yes, <laughs> Adidas. A lot of people in the United States say Adidas, but in Germany, you say Adidas. I had a German foreign exchange student and um, uh, loved her to death, man. But I, and I loved learning little things here and there in German. Had a blast having her as a student. So anyway, um, I kind of, I've been sitting on this shirt for a little while. And then when I found out that Leo Messi, soccer player, football player, was coming to play in the United States, I was like, oh, I gotta get this shirt listed. I've got to. So I did, it's a youth shirt. I don't generally pick up youth anything. Um, it Usually it doesn't sell really high. Um, and I know there's people that sell nothing but kids stuff, but I, I just, it's not my wheelhouse. I would say my wheelhouse is plus size clothes. So anyway, um, I listed it for like 15. Somebody came in and offered me 12 and I took it. I paid a dollar for it at the bins and it sold in 19 days of listing it. So that's great. So let's talk overall numbers. So far from June 1st to the 15th, after shipping fees, after cost of goods, after all of that is taken out, I have made $483.84. Are there people making more than me? Yes. Are there people making less than me? Yes. We're all in different places. We all run our businesses differently. Am I happy with $483.84? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm do I've got a hobby that I love. Now, if you've watched any of my What's Old videos, you know that I will compare June of, of 2023 to June of 2022, because I wanna know, I think it's best to compare months because a lot of times spending, um, spending trends are a thing. So you'll hear a lot of resellers talk about the summer slowdown. Did I experience it last summer? Yes, I did. So I fully expect to experience it this summer and I'm keeping track of that. But am I on track right now with these numbers? Am I on track to beat my June of 2022 total? Yes, my June of 2022 total was just under, it's like $5 less. It's like $5.95, so just under $600. We're only halfway through June and I've made almost 500. So I'm on track. If I keep this same amount, then I will beat my June 2022 total. I have been trying to double what I did the year previous. And so what I do is I take that number and I double it. And I've got that over in my notes in my, um, in my spreadsheet. So am I on track to double that total? No, nope, not yet. So here's my solutions. Let's pop them up here. List, 
list, list, list, okay? So keep that algorithm happy. Keep eBay happy because you're active on it. Keep Poshmark happy because you're active on it. Same thing with Macari. List high demand items. Look at that sell-through rate and um, try to list things that are rare, list things that people are looking for. Um, check those sell-through rates on things. And then list things with a higher average sale price. That's not always going to happen, but we can try. So right now I'm trying to source really smart um, and not just buy every old thing out there. I'm trying to source really smart, do all my comp checking. I'm also not sourcing a lot right now because I have a lot. I have a ton of stuff right now. And I'm planning a, a drive kind of across the country in July. I'm gonna go from here in Virginia all the way to my son's house in Minnesota. And I would love to be able to thrift along the way. I think that would be so much fun. So I am, um, I'm not, I'm not buying as much right now. I'm just listing what I got, listing what I got, and hopefully make a lot of sales in the meantime and get that June number way up there. So that is sales for the first half of June. Fingers crossed and with smart moves, I can make the second half of June just as good. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, I know these aren't the fun videos. If you learned something, would you please give it a thumbs up? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I am trying to build my subscriber base to a thousand people by December. I'm somewhere in the 540s right now, so I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I put out two videos a week, one every Wednesday and one every Saturday. So if reseller content interests you, I love it if you subscribe. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.